This is the icons page within ClearPlan. And this helps your drivers understand the map and use the map more efficiently, which helps you recover more jobs. So let's go through these icons. The icons in the left hand column are all system icons. So if we come up here to the top, this first yellow icon is a place of employment icon. The second one is a place of employment that has been ran. So a driver is checked into this. The third purple icon is the voluntary icon. The next one is a priority. If you have an account that's a priority that you want your drivers to go to, you're going to want to set that account, that account as priority. This green icon is the confirmed icon. What this icon essentially does is, is tells the driver that yes, in fact, a car, boat, motorcycle has been spotted at this address. It's been confirmed. This red triangle icon is the new icon. This is a brand new address in ClearPlan. The blue bubble icon is an address that's been run. So the agent's been run, he's run this account and he's setting it to blue. Our red cameras are new camera scan. So this would be an address that's been marked as new and it was a camera scan. The blue camera scan is an address that's been marked as a camera scan but it's an older address. And down here, these last three icons are advanced alerts. The orange icon is an address that has been marked as an advanced alert, but has been run. The red icon is an advanced alert that's brand new. And the blue icon down here at the bottom is an address that's been marked as an advanced alert, but it's been checked in at least one time. So let's scroll back up to the top and we'll look at custom icons. Custom icons are going to be right here in this right hand column. ClearPlan has a bunch of icons that you can set. You can give them your own name and your own description. So let's go ahead and create our first new icon. To create a new icon, just click on this red button and all of the new icons that are available to you will show up. And as you can see, we have quite a few icons. So let's create a new icon. I'm going to click on this pink flag. We scroll down and we'll give this icon a name. I'm going to name it pink flag, but you would want to give it a name that resonates with your drivers, that makes sense to them. We'll give it a description. I'm giving a description, a test description. Obviously, in your account, you'll want to give each icon a unique name and a unique description. So after you've filled out both of these fields, go ahead and click Save Icon. Now if we scroll up to the top, you can see this pink flag icon that I just made is now here and I can see it. Now up above this blue box, this is just an alert to you that says, hey, you can create a new icon. But now that I know how to do that, I can click this button, do not show this message again, and it will go away. So let's go ahead and create another icon. This time we're going to scroll down and we're going to choose the motorcycle icon. And I'll give it a name of motorcycle. And a quick description. So I've given it a name and a description. All I need to do is hit save. So feel free to make as many custom icons as you want, but just remember, learn the system icons first. In most cases, the system icons will cover everything that you need to do. So that's how you create custom icons and those are the system icons. Thanks.